welcome to another Fountain Pen Day review. Today's review is going to be different. Um, we're going to do paper. Um, I was actually, after I received this order, just going to do a couple of writing samples and post them. But I thought it would be uh, interesting if we change it up a bit. Um, I definitely have some pens lined up, which you can see here. Um, so we can see how these papers perform. Uh, this really started on, on Fountain Pen Geeks. We talked about getting uh, Tomo River paper because it's so elusive. Um, while I do have some and was fortunate enough to get in on a group buy uh, on Fountain Pen Network, there is a U.S. source, if you're in the States, for uh, pads of Tomo River paper. Uh, Nanami Paper Company .com, I'll put the link in the description, uh, carries the Tomo River pads. So, when I went to the site, I was pleasantly surprised to find that David, who's running it, has a lot of really nice notebooks and papers from Japan. Uh, one of them being this one, uh, Life Vermilion. Uh, this is this is the B6 size, and papers were really nice. Uh, it's red lined. It's it's a cream like a uh, more of a yellowish. Cream. I know the light. It, the light's not picking up the color so well, but when I get a close-up and we do a writing sample, you should be able to see it much better. Um, it's 36 pages, uh, so it, it's 60. Uh, sorry, 72 front to back. I scribbled already to check this out. Um, it's also on the on the binding. It's tied. It's not uh, stapled, and they call it a traditional craft type paper cover that's on it. Um, B6 size, which is different. I wasn't, I'd wasn't. i never heard of it before. I'm not a paper hound. I mean, a little bit, but not as much as a lot of people. So those not familiar, it's uh, 4.9 inches by 6.9 inches, or 125 millimeters by 176 millimeters. Uh, you can also get this in A5 size. Uh, the site's definitely worth checking out. It's really cool stuff on there. Uh, each one of these also is... I'd never heard of this before, but it, it's called a column watermark. I'm going to try and show that to you, and then I'll get you to the Tomo River paper, and we'll do a writing sample. This isn't going to be very long. The paper's really smooth. I mean, really smooth. And you're going to see it doesn't feather at all. I mean, it's rare that it'll feather, but it, um, it definitely, if you can see, yeah, that, that'll show up. It's column watermarked. There we go, with the light the way it is. Um, the only thing really I could get to feather was the uh, base date blue. But otherwise, paper holds up really well. It's just a dry time that's uh, that can be killer if you're using pens that uh, put out a lot of ink, which I'm a fan of. Uh, this like I said, in the States. Pad of Tomo River paper. Um, what's nice is it comes with one grid sheet that you can slide underneath, you know, to give you some lines if you if you need it. Like me. It, it's good that it has that. Um, it is... I forgot how many sheets. You know what, when I do the break uh, before the writing sample, I'll give you uh, an exact size on this and the uh, the count on the sheets and I also got a um, just a pad to put in between it's just a thin sheet of vinyl but it's good because the, like with the Tomo River it's so thin that sometimes when you write you'll press down on the next sheet so it just slides up underneath and uh, creates a nice writing surface so alright let's uh, Change the camera angle, and like I said, I have pen's ready to go. We've talked enough. I'll get you a close-up of this. Okay, we're back. Um, for a little torture test, I figured we'd get some uh, some of the nasty inks out there, and favorite shading inks, uh, as well as some pens that give some flex. Um, but we can also just do, you know, just regular writing. Like I said, this one stays a little bit wet, um, and you'll you'll see that. But it's really smooth. I mean, amazing how smooth this paper is. You know, and it, and it shows the shading off well. Oh, 
That was just me. Sorry. Let's see if I can do that again without making a mistake. Um, and this will stay, again, this will stay wet for a while. But, with the, uh, this is Noodler's, um, Black Swan and Australian Roses. And, uh, you can see that it, the shading is there, there's no feathering at all. And really smooth to the, uh, to the, um, with the nib. Alright, let's try. something that I know is gonna affect it because I already tried it and this is pretty much the only ink that that, he, that does not do well on this um, base date blue um, And after a couple of minutes, it will it will start to bleed out and uh, and feather a little bit. But otherwise, it initially will take it fine. Um, writing just straight off, it, it really doesn't bleed. It's it's rare that it not rare that it does it, but it doesn't do it all the time. It just depends on how much ink is laid down. Railroad. Well, It's actually holding up really well. On the back page, it didn't hold up this well. Here's something with a lot of flex. This is a uh, Schaefer from Greg Minuskin with a, uh, actually with a Waterman 100 Years uh, nib on it. And this, uh, there we go, when it starts up will lay down a tremendous amount of ink and, and it really like this won't bleed through at all. This is um Mont Blanc turquoise that's in here now. See sometimes it almost is too smooth. Like I said, it holds up. Um, now the hot lights are actually drying this because before, see the base tape pollutants didn't dry just yet. Um, yeah, that I actually had uh, paper, but this was before when it wasn't under the hot lights. Um, you can see it almost imprinted everything that was there. <clears throat> oh, let's see what else. You know, Moss, this has um, Noodler's Koi Pecan in it. And it's wet. This pen was set to be really wet. And you can see, even something like that, the noodle list does not bleed at all. I mean, it just stays, but it's going to stay wet for a while. So, all in all, it's just a really good paper. I mean, very impressive. It, uh, and it's super notebook. I think this one was uh, $5 for this size. This is a Nakaya Neo Standard. This is a Mont Blanc Seaweed Green. But again, paper is so nice and smooth. So, all in all, really good notebook. Very nice. Um, yeah, it runs a little bit. It's just a dry time that I found, you know, is its only drawback. But if you're not flexing on it and you're not pushing it, which is what I wanted to do here, and is why I used a lot of flex so that you could see that it, it, it's not going to um, feather a lot. But you can see like this, the noodle is still is a little bit damp. Um, Great book, really durable. You know, I bent this thing back and forth. Sorry, I had it down low for you. But 
you know, and it really takes a beating. I mean, when they say they did crab paper, I mean, it's made to just stick in your pocket and walk around, take your notes. So, $5, this is great, great paper. You can see on the back, actually, here's where I did the Omas, and uh, I did, all I did was just rub my finger over it to see, and it was still wet. And uh, that was with the, uh, the Noodler's uh, Koi Pecan. So, okay. Let's move on to the Tomar River, because I know a lot of people are interested in that. Again, it's this is a great source. I got here in three days. I ordered it three days later. I had 100 sheets, which is what's in here. I'm sorry. I meant to mention that. It's 100 sheets of Tomar River paper. Uh, the size is... 182 millimeters by 257 millimeters. So it's about a 7 by 10. Uh, the sheets are obviously... You know what? I want to see. They're all bound up top so that you can you can peel it off and then uh, you can kind of decide, fold them if you were to bind your own notebooks, which is nice. Uh, but <clears throat> with this, so we can get going. Sorry. Everyone just wants to see me write on it. <laughs> all right. So we all know how great this paper is. I'm sure we won't have any issues. Let's start off with the Schaefer and see what happens when we drop a lot of ink onto it. Again, this is the uh, Mont Blanc ink. Oops. And this paper is just a dream. I mean, it is so well behaved. So nice to write on. You know, it doesn't ask you for anything. Except for good handwriting. Um, but it is a thin paper, so having, you know, that's why I got the um, writing board for underneath it. So that it doesn't, it doesn't press through. I don't think it'll pick it up here, but anyone who's written with it, you can see the um, you can see the paper. It's got some indentations in it. You can actually pick up on that right there from, uh, from the pen pressing down on it. Oh, I do press down kind of hard because I'm flexing. But if you're going to write like a normal person, you know, it's not going to uh, have that much of an effect on it. But it will be always smooth, always well behaved. Um, Even the lightest, even the lightest touch, you know, this paper. Unlike quite Claire Fontaine, sometimes you know, if you if you uh, just lightly touch it because it's so glassy, it won't it won't draw the ink off the pen. But this, you know, it, it's like I said, it's just so well behaved. It takes the ink. Um, it brings out great shading. If you have an ink that has shade to it, it, it really lets that come through. Um, this one has a. Uh, 1.3 stub. This has got the Mont Blanc uh, Carla Collodi in it, which is uh, another great ink for shading. And you can just you can see how well behaved again. And I keep saying well behaved, but this paper really is. I mean, if you, we've all dealt with so many papers that as soon as you hit it with a fountain pen, it just, it's almost like the ink just splinters all over the page. And and this one, you can see, any any place where my hand even slowed down for the slightest moment, you can see the extra ink that stayed behind. Yeah. Great stuff. No matter how much you lay down, It doesn't bleed through, but you can see. You see on the back. You can see the imprint, and that's you know just part of being a thin paper. Um, yeah, well, while I'm at it, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go back to the life notebook for a second. Huh, see, it was wet when I closed it, so it's there. 
which takes a while to dry, you know, it's just something you have to deal with. But with all that ink, and as long as it took to dry the back of this page, you can see nothing bled through either. So, really, really nice. Excellent, excellent um, paper. We'll try with the base tape blue and see how she does. Um, behaved. I don't see any feathering at all. And I've used it before with it and I haven't found any feathering either. No matter how much ink you drop down onto it. Now this one's got a, uh, a stub nib. So it's got a little bit of an edge to it and being a thinner paper if I don't hold it just right the paper tells me you know not to do that. So. But I just wanted to give a quick review and let everybody know that there is Tomo River paper in the United States if you care to order it and you can get it quickly. So I'll put a link to the site so that anyone who would like to order it and doesn't want to wait on a group buy or you know, hope that somebody else can get it in or have to order it from another country and pay ridiculous shipping, it's around. So, railroad, look at that. Beautiful Nakaya. Railroad. Every pen will railroad. So, on that note, remember first Friday of November is Fountain Pen Day. Celebrate it, enjoy it, and I hope this was useful.